So lately I've come to realize that a lot of people who bank with Navy Federal, they tend to have the cash rewards credit card. Now, of course, there are other better credit cards that Navy Federal has to offer other than this credit card, but this card does have a few advantages that the other Navy Federal credit cards do not have. So in this video, I just wanna go over what these advantages are and why you should consider getting this credit card versus any of the other Navy Federal credit cards. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Sanford and you are now watching Just Money where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business, credit real estate and other financial related topics so if that's something you're into then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing but without further ado let's get into today's video so the cash rewards credit card is definitely navy federal's underdog credit card and i say this because if you look at the higher tier credit cards that navy federal has like the flagship rewards credit card or even the more rewards credit card they're obviously better than the cash rewards credit card so ladies and gentlemen if you look at the website you're obviously going to be earning more reward points on these credit cards than you would get on the cash rewards credit card and not only that but even the welcome bonus are better so we have to ask ourselves this question ladies and gentlemen why are we getting the cash rewards credit card why is this honestly i did my research and i found out that the majority of people who have this credit card have this credit card for these three main reasons right here the first reason why people have this credit card is because this is the credit card that navy federal gives you after you graduate from the end reward secure credit card and for those that don't know the end reward secure credit card is navy federal secure credit card that they offer that is meant to help you build or rebuild your credit i made a full in-depth video not too long ago talking about the secure credit card so if you guys want any more information information in regards to this and feel free to browse my youtube channel or hit the link in the description below but after you graduate from the end rewards secure credit card then navy federal is going to graduate you to the cash rewards credit card so honestly you really don't have much of a choice because this is just the credit card that you're given once it's time for you to graduate so this is going to be the first reason why a lot of people have the cash rewards credit card but the second reason why a lot of people have the cash rewards credit card is because this is one of navy federal's most easiest credit cards that you can get approved for some of the other navy federal credit cards are a little bit harder to get approved for not gonna lie especially if you're looking to get the flagship reward credit card and honestly even sometimes the more rewards credit card in some case scenarios so that's going to be the second reason why a lot of people have the cash rewards credit card because it's easy to get approved for but the third reason why people have the cash rewards credit card is because of the cash back if you have the cash rewards credit card then you're able to receive your cash back immediately after any purchase and this is going to be the only navy federal credit card that does this all of the other navy federal credit cards that receive reward points you have to wait up until you have 5,000 reward points in order to obtain anything so you can have 3,000 or even 1,000 points on your cash rewards credit card and you'll be able able to receive that immediately you wouldn't have to wait until you hit the 5,000 mark and just so you guys know these reward points are going to be worth one cent per point so 5,000 reward points are going to be equivalent to $50 so if you have the go rewards credit card the more rewards credit card or even the flagship rewards credit card you wouldn't be able to redeem anything until you hit that $50 mark for some people this might not matter because some people don't touch the reward points unless they have anything significant in there like for me personally I have 35,000 reward points on my flagship rewards credit card and I have no intention of taking that out anytime soon and and by the way, those 35,000 reward points are going to be equivalent to $350 cash back. And I am team cash back. Comment down below if you're team cash back too. But honestly, everybody's case scenario is always going to be different. Maybe somebody wants to pull out their cash back when they have 3,000 reward points because they might need the money for something. If this is so, then yeah, I can see why people are getting the cash rewards credit card. It totally makes sense. But that's going to be the third reason why people are getting the cash rewards credit card because maybe they want their cash back immediately and you cannot do this with any of the other Navy Federal credit cards. That's why this credit card is called cash rewards because you're getting your your cash rewarded to you immediately. I just made that up, but it makes sense though. <laughs> But all jokes aside though, if you guys are finding any of this information helpful, if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button, I would truly appreciate it because it really helps me out a lot and then it's also a great way to support the channel. But anyways, there's one thing that is very important that I would like for you guys to know. These reward points that you're earning on any of these Navy Federal credit cards cannot be transferred across each other. So if you have 4,000 reward points on your cash rewards credit card and then you have another 4,000 reward points on your flagship rewards credit card, then you cannot combine these together at all. This isn't like Chase or American Express where you can transfer your points to other credit cards. You cannot do this. And not only can you not do this, but each credit card has to reach 5,000 reward points if you want to receive anything from it. Unless you have the cash rewards credit card, then you can start redeeming your cash back immediately. And also, there's no limit to the amount of rewards you can receive on any of these Navy Federal credit cards, and they will never expire as long as the account is still open. So if you guys are going to close your account soon for whatever reason, make sure to utilize your reward points before you end up forfeiting them. But also, another thing I do want to mention is that the cash rewards credit card will be giving you 1.75% cash back on every purchase that you make, which is both good and 
and bad depending on how you look at it. It can be good because other Navy Federal credit cards will only give you one reward point per every dollar spent on other purchases, while the Cash Rewards credit card on the other hand is giving you 1.75% cash back on every purchase that you make. But honestly, if you have the Flagship Rewards credit card, then the Cash Rewards credit card doesn't make sense to have anymore because the Flagship Rewards credit card is giving you two reward points per every dollar spent, which is a little more than what the Cash Rewards credit card is giving you. So just weigh out your situation to see if the Cash Rewards credit card works out for you personally. But now let's quickly go over what the sign up bonuses are for this credit card at the time of this recording. So the Cash Rewards credit card is going to be offering you $300 cash back once you spend $3,000 within the first three months of opening this account. Honestly, I think most of you guys can probably hit this within the first month and a half, but if you guys are interested in this welcome bonus, then it is going to expire soon on April 30th, 2024, so I would move quick. And the APR on this credit card is going to range anywhere from 14.90% to 18%, which is honestly pretty good considering other credit cards out there on the market are usually around 27% APR. And as far as the fees, there's not going to be any annual fees, no balance transfer fees, no foreign transaction fees and no cash advance fees as well. So honestly, in my opinion, this is a pretty good starter credit card to start getting your guys' feet with if you guys are currently new to credit. But one hack that I want to leave you guys with before I end this video is if you don't want the cash rewards credit card no more, then you can actually do a product change to another Navy Federal credit card. All you literally have to do is just call Navy Federal and tell them, hey, I would like to do a product change and they'll help you out. Although I will say, if you guys want to do a product change from your current Navy Federal credit card to the flagship rewards credit card, then you have to have at least a $5,000 credit limit if you want to do a product change to the flagship rewards rewards credit card. If you do not have a $5,000 credit limit on your current Navy Federal credit card, then they will not allow you to do a product change to the flagship rewards credit card. You'll still be able to do a product change with any of the other Navy Federal credit cards, but if you're trying to get the flagship rewards credit card in particular, then you must have a $5,000 credit limit. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys found value in any of this information as always. Let me know in the comments below who all has the cash rewards credit card and how long have you had it for? I would like to know. Let me know in the comments below. And also really quick for those that don't know, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consultation. So if you guys need help building credit, you have Navy Federal questions, you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, or if you have any questions in regards to real estate, because I am a licensed real estate agent and a licensed mortgage loan originator, then all my information will always be in the description below. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, then I truly do appreciate you guys. We're at 33,724 subscribers at the time of this recording, so I do appreciate all who watch. I do post weekly videos for those that don't know, and if you guys haven't yet already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet already, and don't forget to the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time I ish post a new video and again we talk about personal and business credit real estate and other financial related topics so if that's something you're into then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing we talk about how to get high limits on your guys credit cards we talk about how to boost your personal credit how to obtain business credit we talk about real estate we talk about mortgage loan programs we talk about all that so this is your one-stop shop and again for those that don't know i'm a licensed real estate agent a realtor and i'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator as well so if you guys have any questions in regards to real estate all my information will always be in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.